Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I am Swaroop Nadella. So today we'll see the program uh, related to the reversing the number. So for example, if you have the number one, two, three, four, five. So we are expecting the result like the reverse order five, four, three, two, one. So uh, how can we achieve this? Let's uh, discuss uh, before writing the code. So our input value is uh, one, two, three, four, five. So what we are expecting is that uh, it should print in the reverse order. So uh, uh, here we will be performing the mathematical operations. So we have something called uh, division and uh, remainder. So if we are dividing the value uh, by uh, some value, right? There will be some remainder coming up. So this is the division operator in Java. This is the remainder the modulo operator in Java. So using these two, we'll be performing the operations now. So for example, this number uh, one, two, three, four, five. So in order to get the value of five, I need to uh, divide the number. Number by 10. So the value of the output of this uh, uh, division by 10 uh, will be coming like one, two, three, four. So after dividing the value by 10, this is the output that we're getting. And if we are uh, trying to get the remainder of uh, by dividing by 10, right? So we'll be getting five because the last position, uh, uh, five is not divisible by 10 uh, because five is less than 10. So the that will be the remainder value that will be left out. Uh, so using this logic, uh, we'll be trying to build the code today. So let's see, initially, uh, we are initializing the value of number equal to one, two, three, four, five. Then I'll be uh, printing that in the console. So this value will be printed initially. And I'm going to uh, initialize a few more variables since uh, I am going to save those values. Int remainder equal to zero, reverse number equal to zero. So we can achieve this uh, reverse number using multiple ways. So uh, now we will be discussing using loops. Uh, so let's try using the for loop. So since already the value is initialized here, so I'm not writing any initialization statement. So for loop is having a, a total three condition, three values we can provide. The first value in the for loop is the initialization statement. Second is condition. Third is the increment. So uh, initialization since already it happened, I'm not going to initialize again. I am leaving it empty. The second one is the condition. So I need to give number not equal to zero. Condition in the for loop, there is a condition here. Um, so if the number is great, if the number is not equal to zero, then only the for loop will be executed. And uh, the incremental operator is that uh, the number is equal to numbers divided by 10. So whatever value is coming after dividing by 10, the remaining value will be assigned to the number and the further loop will be executed. So here what we should do initially, let's take the remainder equal to, as we discussed uh, here, remainder value will come when we do percentage operator with 10. And then the next one is uh, reverse number equal to
so initially since the value of reverse number is zero before the loop starts so zero into 10 is zero and then the remainder value uh, will be added in the reverse number so in the remainder what will be coming is the if you apply the modulo operator percentage uh, initially five will be coming here so this is zero initially and five so the reverse number will initially have the number uh, five which is the first digit that we are expecting and the loop will execute one more time uh, <laughs> Now uh, the number uh, is having one, two, three, four because it has divided by 10, right? So we'll be having one, two, three, four. So five will be already captured in the remainder. So if we pass one, two, three, four here, one, two, three, four divided by 10. So the remainder is four. And uh, the reverse number uh, initially is having five because the earlier remainder is five, right? So five into 10, 50 will be coming here. And the remainder value which we got uh, using the second uh, iteration is four. So we'll be having like uh, in the second iteration, first iteration we'll be having five, second iteration 54. In the reverse number, third iteration 543, 54321. So let's execute this code and check if it is working. So we need to also pass the output statement for reverse number. So let's execute this and see. So we have passed it one, two, three, four, five and five, four, three, two, one is coming. So in order to see uh, whether this pattern is coming or not, uh, we can put the print statement inside the loop also. So if we see here input, uh, we are taking one, two, three, four, five. And initially the remainder value is printed in the reverse number. Then after that, the remainder is multiplied by 10 and uh, the second iteration remainder is four that is taken. And the uh, 54 is multiplied by 10 again. So it become 540 and the third iteration remainder is three. So 543 is coming. So in the next iteration, 5430 plus two is the remainder when we take uh, the fourth iteration 12. So finally, 54321 will. Hope you like the video. Uh, if you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any feedback, uh, please write in the comments. Thank you.